fire! Hold your fire! Sergeant Quinn! Slade! Where's, where's Slade? I don't know, Captain! Sir, I thought I saw him chasing Federals that way! I told you on a low light, stay together. Stay together or we get ambushed. Uh, I'm gonna chase your ass all the way back to Gettysburg, Nicky! Am I talking to myself? Go get Corporal Reynolds and Stokes. Tell them to get back up here right now. Yes, sir. Girl, you ain't going outside looking like a man. But Paul, I have a man's work to do. I don't want to ruin my last two skirts. Your mama will turn over in her grave. I'm not the one making mama turn over in her grave, Paul. Shame she didn't live long enough to make a proper lady out of you. With all the work to do around here, I should have been Bobby's brother. Don't you go talk about your brother. He was a hero, and you... You best start learning how to please a man. What good are you if you don't marry well enough to support us? All the decent men like Bobby were killed by the Yankees, Paul. There's Edgar Dodds. I said decent, Paul. I heard he's home on leave. He might come a-calling. Maybe I won't be here. Girls gotta marry. Not me. Edgar Dodds is a rich man, and he likes your good looks, even if you try to hide them. No, I have to work. Stop right there. What now? You can't go outside till you fix yourself up like a proper young lady. Proper young ladies don't work in the field, Pa. Your mama didn't raise you that way. I don't fancy starving. Go change into a skirt right this minute. I will, just as soon as you quit your drinking. Don't give me that back talk. You're not too big for me to put you over my knee. You don't have any call to talk to me that way. As long as you live in this house, I'll talk to you any way I want. You wouldn't have said that to Bobby. You ain't Bobby. Do what I say. Now. Fine. It ain't worth fighting over anyways. I'll go put on that raggedy old skirt.
afternoon, Miss Willa. Good afternoon, Major Dodds. Brought your pop present. Hmm, just what we need, more liquor. With all the fight around Atlanta, what are you doing home? Your pa still got you digging in the fields, Willa. Somebody has to. He traded you all our help for whiskey. The sun is ruining your beauty. Even your hair is streaked and fading. I've seen you wearing trousers and riding straddle. Unbecoming behavior, Miss Willa. You spying on me, Major Dodds? Always interested in what you do. Your pa has let you down. Since your mama died, he's not much good for nothing. He'll most likely drink himself to death. He will not. We manage fine just us two. Anyhow, it's your still that's keeping him in whiskey. I'd thank you not to bring him anymore. <laughs> He'd get it with her without my help. Marry me, and you'll never have to work in the dirt again. I'd rather have the dirt. You've lost most of the manners your mama knocked in your head. Someday, I'll teach you how to talk to your husband proper. Well, that husband won't be you. Sure, General Kilpatrick. Martin, I'm in a lot of pain. So I want to drink tonight until I don't feel anything anywhere. Pour it. Jut, jut, jut. Can I get anything for you, General Sherman? Not just now, Martin. Excuse us. I heard you're in here recuperating. Yes, sir, I'm convalescing well. I'm feeling a lot better. Why are you here, sir? I'm going to give General Stoneman permission to continue towards Macon. Give me a few days, sir, and I'll be ready to ride in support. I need you 100% fully recuperated for the long-range plan. Okay, sir. Why Macon? What's the objective? The ultimate objective is to liberate Andersonville Prison. Andersonville, sir? Even if we could do it, it's going to tie up a lot of our troopers, sir. I mean, a lot of the boys aren't going to be able to be moved, so we're going to have to arrange transport from there back up north to a safe area, and, and or heaven forbid, we have to bring them along with us. It'd just be an encumbrance, sir. I hope to get some back in the field. We could sure use them. And I damn well know they'd rather be fighting than riding away in that cesspool. Point taken, sir. Besides, it'll look really good in the newspapers back home. Except you ran off all those nosy reporters, sir. Parasites. Parasites, right, Martin? Absolutely, sir. Our men are in hell, sir. Yes, they are. Stoneman will make that ride. I'll take that drink now, Martin. Yes, sir. Brandy, if you have it. I win, Willa. Congratulations. What'd you win? You. Your pa consented. He even signed our agreement. Pa wouldn't do that to me. I got it all covered. You and I are destined to become man and wife. You are mine. Fine, strong girl. You'll bear me lots of progeny. I am not a brood mare, Major Dodds. I'll use you as I see fit. I have business to attend. I'll be back for supper and we'll work out all the details then, my love. I'd rather die. I'd rather die. I got good news for you, Willa. We're fixed for life. Yeah, you fix me all right. All we need is the preacher. A shotgun. Willa, what you got against Edgar? He's a fine figure of a man, and he's rich. You'll be living in his big house in the middle of that nice piece of land. Hell, I ought to marry him myself. 
Why don't you? No more sass, girl. You didn't even ask me if I wanted to marry him. What the hell for? I hate him. He's mean. Well, you better get over that. Nobody gives a damn about you but me and Edgar. And I can't live forever. Edgar and me, we got an agreement. He'll do disgusting things to me. That's what's bothering you? We got to talk about a wife's duties and a husband's rights, girl. Paul, half the poor little colored children on his place have white skin and look like him. No, if Bobby were here, he'd take my part. Well, he ain't. Mama wouldn't allow it either. I remember her well enough to know that. You don't remember nothing. What about you, Paul? You need me. Edgar promised me one of his hands and a cook. In trade for me? Like I'm your slave? No more talk. He's coming over for supper tonight. And you better cook something good. What's that? Calvary, Paul. What side? Ours. Might steal, but they won't burn us out like Yankees would. I wonder what they're doing this far from Atlanta. That's real cavalry, Paul. It looks like they've been fighting. Afternoon. Captain Spencer, 2nd Georgia Cavalry. What are you fellas looking for so far from the lines? Yankee Raiders. Passed through Covington yesterday. Headed south. Covington? That's close. They better not come here. I got my shotgun. That's a caution. You have any fresh horses to trade? I thought as much. Yank or Reb, one set of horse thieves about the same as another. We're soldiers, sir. Not horse thieves. Just the same, I can't furnish any. You best be after them Yankees instead of molesting upright, hard-working citizens. I need fodder for my horses and food for my men. We expect to pay. I don't have a thing to sell. Then you won't mind if we have a look around. I'm coming with you. Don't want no chickens to disappear without my knowing. As you wish. This looks just fine. I've been working up a powerful appetite. I'm an awful cook. You won't like it. Don't sell yourself short, girl. Not to the man you're gonna marry. I reckon I'll be satisfied anyhow. So, Edgar, when are you planning to tie the knot with Willow? What's your rush, Paul? It better be soon. I don't much like the second part of that agreement. What second part? The part where if anything happens to me before the wedding, Edgar's your legal guardian. Oh, that. I'd put that in to protect Willa. Anyway, we'll get it done as soon as I send for the preacher from Covington. Good. I'd hate to think you'd get impatient and do me in. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, Yankees might get here first. Not after the thrashing we just gave them. We saved Atlanta again. I heard a lot of our men died, and we lost ground. It was a glorious victory. No two ways about it. Detachment of Wheeler's cavalry came through this afternoon looking for Yankee raiders. Found my corn crib instead. Oh, they didn't take much, Paul. They looked like they really needed it. Like we don't? Yanks went through Covington. It's close. Maybe they're coming to capture you, Major. Send you north to prison. No Yankee will ever capture me. 
Probably not. You won't let him get close enough. Watch your mouth, girl. Soldiers took some of our corn crop, but they didn't find our horses. You better keep that nice filly Miss Willis hid. I'm figuring on breeding her and raising the colts. You talk as if Annie Laurie's your mare. I'd like to remind you that she's mine. Bobby gave her to me. She's part of our deal, Willa. Annie's gonna be Edgar's once you're married. What else, Paul? If you're good, I'll let you keep one of her colts for riding. If I'm good? It might take some teaching, but I reckon you'll learn. You figure me for a fine brood mare, too? All women are made for bearing children. I know you'll take good care of my little girl. I sure will. She's a smart girl. Her mama saw to it she learned her figures and letters. She'll keep your place running first class. and hold still! No! Hold still, damn you! No! No! Tell you what, sugar. You hold still and let me do it. And I won't hit you no more. I'll be nice to you.
Uh, don't shoot, I'm a friend. Who are you? I've come to join up with the cavalry. Let's go back where you came from, kid. No, I have a horse and a shotgun, and I'm gonna fight Yankees. <laughs> Ain't you tough. Let me talk to Captain Spencer. How'd you know him? That's my business. It's between me and him. Dismount and approach. Keep your hands where I can see them. I'm Will Barber. Where's Captain Spencer? Never mind him. Where's that shotgun? Tied to the saddle. Let's go. Head northeast, and then we'll turn back in this direction. That way, when we cut them off, we got the sun at our back. We'll call the pickets, we leave in an hour. Yes, sir. Saddle up. What you got, Slade? Captured this Will Barber headed toward camp. He asked for you by name. So, how do you know me, Will? I stopped at a farmhouse for directions, sir. The man there told me where your troop was headed. Randall, probably. All drunk. Surprised he was sober enough to know my name. You been in a scrape? Branch caught me in the dark, sir. Some wicked branch. How'd you happen in here? I want a volunteer, sir. Join up with the cavalry. How old are you? 18, sir. If you're under 16, you better join the home guard instead. I'm, I'm old enough, sir. If you're 18, I'm Abe Lincoln. Well, then I guess you're Abe Lincoln, sir. You don't have to serve me every time you open your mouth. Where are you from? Up near Ringgold Gap. Well, behind Yankee lines now. I slipped through. What are you doing in middle Georgia? Refugee Your mama know you're here? Got no mama. No mama. Got anybody? I had a brother, but he was killed by the Yankees. You want the same thing to happen to you? I know how to shoot, and I can hold my end up. I'm, I'm not afraid. I want you to ride with us today. Just watch the others and learn. See that guy with the chicken? That's Corporal Reynolds. Stay close to him. Damn you, Dodds! What have you done with my little girl? Stop that! Are you crazy? What the hell are you talking about? You're laying in her bed and there's blood on the sheet. Tell me what you did. Or I'll whoop it out of you! Wait. That must be my blood. Where'd she go? I asked first. Calm down, old man. I don't know where Willow's gone. I don't remember anything but supper than sitting with you drinking. Your memory better improve quick, neighbor. Appears you chose not to wait for your wedding night. You touched her out of turn. What difference does a day or two make? Never should have trusted Willa to you. Give me back that agreement so I can rip it up. We'd better go find her. Took her horse, my shotgun, my boots. Corrupted her. Don't look at me like that, old man.
boy. Hey, you join anybody's mess yet? Mess? Yeah, I take mess with Jefferson, Captain Spencer, that is. Stokes and Quinn. We were neighbors back home. We've been sticking together ever since. I guess Jefferson took it for granted you'd eat with us. Uh, sure. When do we start? Hey, it's my turn to cook. Grab some kindling and haul it along. No, no, no. I can cook. That way you won't have to. <laughs> what, your folks raised you up to be a girl? No. In my house, if you didn't cook, you didn't eat. This don't look too bad. Where'd you learn to cook, Will? Well, after Mama and the field hands were gone, I had to prepare all the food. Hot damn. Looks like we got us a cook. Josh, have you heard the news? Terrible tragedy. Devil Yankees murdered old Mr. Randall. Burned him out, too. His girl Will is gone. Disappeared. Not a soul I asked has seen her since. Lord, bless the child. Poor little thing, all alone in the world. No wonder she's scared. Hiding from the Yankee devils. None of y'all ever seen a Yankee, I'll bet. No, sir. They got pitchforks and horns and cloven feet and pointed tails. Send a soul straight to hell. It's for her own sake I'm looking for. Well, I need somebody to take care of her, give her a home. And I'm willing. Sometimes you folks know a thing or two that's going on. You tell me your clavet here where to find her and there'll be a reward for you. No work for a whole week. Go and tell the rest of your people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Major Dobbs. I got a report back to Atlanta. I'll look for her there in case she went that way. Atlanta? I don't know. I hear most folks that can get away are leaving that place. What if the Yankees carried her off? Lord, I hope not. For her sake. Send word if you hear anything. Get a crew and some wagons together. Take them over to Randall Place. We'll collect her harvest for her. <laughs> No sense letting perfectly good corn rot where it stands, Major. Get it all. Garden, smokehouse, and the livestock, too. Have them bury what's left of the old man. Never, no whatever you do, do not loosen this up. But doesn't it loosen if I want it to? Once you put this saddle on in the morning, you never loosen this up. If it gets loose, tighten it back up. Do it right, saddle a horse right. Check your tag. If you do this, everything is going to be okay. When we're in a fight, you're going to need to change cylinders very quickly. All right, I want you to always carry two additional cylinders fully loaded at all times. Now, how you change this is you simply drop this down, pull your release, drop the hammer to the back, let it slip out the right side. Pull out your new cylinder, check for your bullets, check for your caps. You'll load it in the opposite side. You'll kind of have to play with it a little bit sometimes. It'll slide to the middle. All right, you gotta be able to do that in five seconds. I'm gonna keep making you do it until you can. I want you to practice it.
Shoot. Don't shoot, I give. I'm taking you prisoner. You're my prisoner. Just my luck I missed. Stripling, no less. Kid, you're shaking that gun pretty hard. Why don't you give it to me? Take off your gun belt. Give me that weapon before you set it off. Take off your gun belt. Throw it over there. I don't want to hurt you. I know you don't want to hurt me. Now give me that weapon. My friends are going to be by here. They're going to kill you. You're coming with me. And you're walking. I'll lead the way. Your friends are going to see me. They're going to shoot me down. Well, keep your arms up and pray they don't. Let's go. General? It's good to see you, Judson. Yes, sir. Same here. Looks like we're missing a cavalry general. General Stoneman, sir? I just got the telegram. Stoneman's command has gone up the spout. Well, what about Stoneman himself, sir? Wheeler's cavalry captured his main force. Stoneman is among the prisoners. Yeah, I went to West Point with that runt. He could barely stay in the saddle when we ride. A cavalry general. Pfft. It's dangerous now. Well, did any of the men make it to Andersonville, sir? Most likely, not the way we planned. On the whole, Stoneman's command was not a success. Mm. Uh, whiskey, Martin. Thank you. Sir, are you ready to take command? Yes, sir. I've been out conducting inspections on all the regiments. When you're ready, we're ready. Let's let Stoneman's men hobble back, regroup, and when they do, they're yours. Yes, sir. Supper for the troop. Courtesy of Stoneman's has been Raiders. Hey, 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 hey! Don't do that! You acquitted yourself pretty good today, bringing that Yankee prisoner in like you did. Thank you, sir. You're still green as one of those young pines over there, though. I'm learning, sir. You got a long way to go. But you learn fast. Unlike the rest of these crybabies, you ain't much for complaining. I'll swear you in after supper, soldier. I'll divvy it up. It's a good haul. Wagon full of provisions, two cannons, sabers, pistols, rifles. Not much on ammunition, though. Of course, that's why they said they surrendered. <laughs> Vandalism, it's showing off his hard work. Then poor bastards are too tired to fight. Yeah, I guess y'all heard about Slade. Made arrangements to have his body shipped home. Our little circle's getting smaller. <laughs> I don't guess he's gonna be trying to eat General Johnson anymore. Reckon I'll write his mama a letter tomorrow. It's a sweet lady. Remember stopping at that old fella's house? The drunk? Randall, that was his name. You called on his house, didn't you, Will? Yes, yes sir. Uh, Randall? Cranky old buzzard. Not a happy drunk. I heard up at headquarters he got murdered by some Yankee stragglers. Murdered. I must have showed him his shotgun. That'd do it. Strange. The Yanks didn't even go that way. They went east, down by the riverside. Some home guard major told a courier the Yanks shot the old fella and burned his house. 
You know anything about that, Will? Do you see any Yankees when you're up that way? What's wrong, Will? Uh, I'll go tend to your horses now, sir, if you'll excuse me, and I'll cook your supper after. We always get a fire going so we can have some supper. Well, you heard the man. You alright, Will? Look at me, soldier. You saw some terrible things today. Sometimes it doesn't sink in until afterward. Just go in and let it out. You'll feel better. Only a jackass will make fun of you. And Will, I'm proud of you. You did good today. Come on, Willie boy, get your ass up. It's time to go. Hey, Reynolds, we've been invited to a ball in Macon. Should be a lot of nice ladies there. You wanna go? What the hell you think, Jefferson? You wanted to see me, sir? Requisition these from the quartermaster. They'll fit you better than what you've been wearing. I don't think I should go to the party, sir. I don't I don't feel too well. Nonsense. Everybody's going. You have a great time. I'm not presentable. The bruises. Look, everybody's beat up one way or another. Here's a piece of soap. River's warm enough for bathing, so get cleaned up. Besides, Mrs. Maybe went through a lot of trouble for us. You know, her daughters are quite attractive. You mean you'd court them? Well, they'd be offended if we didn't. Don't you have a sweetheart, or is she your wife? Jenny, you saw the picture. Well, y you had it out in plain view. Won't she be offended when she finds but out? Mind your own damn business. You're going to this party. So go get cleaned up and decent, or I'll put you on latrine duty for the rest of the war. Yes, sir. I want the men to have a good time, but I don't want nobody to embarrass us either. I don't blow off a little steam, but if anybody gets too drunk, you send them back to camp. How lovely you look this evening. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us in your home. It is my pleasure. I know the men really appreciate it. They needed the reprieve. I am so glad I could help.
This is nice, really nice. You know, I haven't had lemonade in ages. It was the least we could do after y'all whipped those yanks that tried to invade us. Yeah, murderers, that's what they all are. Is that how you got the bruise on your face in the fight? Mm-hmm. They killed my papa at Gettysburg. He was a colonel. Yeah, they killed my pa and my brother, too. I'm Martha Fielding. Will Barber. I do so love to dance. Dance? No, I, I don't know how to dance. I'm a good teacher. No, <laughs> no. I'll get Emma to watch the punch bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? As your esteemed mayor of Macon, I would like to propose a toast to the brave soldiers of Wheeler's Cavalry, who have once again turned back the invading horde of the Blue Devils. Gentlemen, well done. Hear, hear. Hear, hear. Oh, Clarissa McRae, I'm surprised to see you here. She has her own guests to entertain. Perhaps her party was dull. <laughs> Clarissa McRae is never dull. Really? Excuse me. Captain Spencer, one of our esteemed saviors. Welcome to Macon. The pleasure is all mine, Mrs. McRae. I have heard all about you. Is that a fact? I am quite unremarkable. Oh, don't be so modest. I heard you were one of the bravest officers in Wheeler's Calvary. Valiant to the point of recklessness. Well, that is a reputation to live up to. Would you care to dance? Thank you. Would you like some lemonade? I'd love some, even though the rum is making me giddy. Rum? There's rum in the lemonade? Mr. McRae is fortunate to have such a lovely wife. Oh, he's the unfortunate one to be missing out on such a good time. He's in Atlanta on business all week, and I expect he'll return tomorrow. Everybody's drinking rum? You know, Captain Spencer, I'm really not such a bad person after all. Quite to the contrary, Clarissa. I find you fascinating. Well, isn't there anything else to drink? <laughs> Where will you be staying tonight? In the camp, as usual. Oh, there's no need for you to be staying in a dirty old camp. I have a spare room. All the comforts at home. That is a tempting offer. Sergeant Quinn. Will you excuse me? Later this evening, I'm, I'll be escorting Mrs. McCray home. She's invited me to stay, so I won't be back in camp later. You're in charge until I return. Yes, sir. Enjoy yourself. I'll take care of everything. Make sure Reynolds didn't get too drunk. Is he going home with her? I hope to shall. Have you heard all the news around camp about Captain Spencer and Clarissa McRae? Do you believe it? Are you going to sleep? Listen to me. <sighs> Captain Spencer spent the night with a woman he wasn't married to. Can you imagine? No, if he loves his wife so much, how can he carry on with a woman like Clarissa McRae? There's the tomcat himself. Wonder how much sleep he got? Doesn't look too perky. Serves him right. Here, she's been watered and fed. Just on salary, she's all set. Okay. Mrs. McCray gave us some provisions. She's most hospitable. 
Something wrong? No, sir. Do I sense an air of disapproval? Sir, if I said what I really think, you put me on latrine duty for the rest of the war. Then keep it to yourself. Take that to Colonel Cruz when you're done. Yes, sir. Sorry to interrupt. Um, once we get through the provisions Miss McRae sent us, that'll be it for the food. Yeah, that. Took that up with the commissary boys. Their answer was, in essence, consider the lilies of the field. Both armies cleaned out Covington. I could try and find you food if you like. First thing tomorrow, I'll take out a party, do some foraging. May I see her? Your wife is lovely. More than lovely. Never met anybody like her. Before or since. You really care about her, don't you? Still do. That's the problem. You love somebody. You still love them. Even when they're gone. So how well do you know that Mr. Randall? He bought some supplies from him. I refugeed there. I'm so sorry about your wife, Captain. I had no idea. Jenny was too good for this world. I keep telling you things. It's nobody's business but mine. I won't tell your secrets, Captain. Does she know how much you love her? I think so. Still, I wasn't there at the end. But you had to leave. You had to fight a war. Sounds noble, doesn't it? If I hadn't been so eager to get her with the child, she'd still be alive. You're too young to understand. I told you I was 18. I forgot. Full grown man. I know about my pa dying. My mom when I was a kid. My brother too. I understand plenty. But you can't help your wife dying any more than I can help the Yankees kill my brother Bobby. Where'd they get him? Virginia. He was shot down by an artillery round. They shipped him home, but we couldn't even tell it was him. Well, I doubt he suffered. For the next year, I kept hoping that somebody had made a mistake and sent somebody else. And he'd come walking through the door laughing like nothing had happened. That young lady I kept company with, Mrs. McCray. I hoped she'd make me forget. Waste of time. I won't be seeing her anymore. I miss Jeannie. My brother was fine and brave. And generous, too. You know, he gave me Annie Laurie as a going away present after he joined the Army. After he died, Paul latched onto a whiskey jug and never let go. Is that why you ran away? Did Paul get drunk and beat you? I 
Tomorrow we'll get some food. That Mr. Randall's dead now. We'll go back to his farm. We'll head out at first light. We'll take Stokes and Reynolds with us. That's odd. Smokehouse still standing. The Yankees didn't bother to burn it. You know, there's a vegetable garden planted right over there. I used to tend to it myself. Stokes, Reynolds, go check out the smokehouse. See if there's any food left. Cornfield's all trampled down, but there may be a good bushel left or two. You know, Mr. Randall had an old plow horse sitting up the hill away and some cows, too. I suspect that old man had some stock tucked away. Go check and see if there's any animals left. I'd pay a penny for a beefsteak. Yes, sir. <laughs> Here, we'll try that. Thanks. It's a good start, Will. So where to next? Oh, I, I don't know. I didn't spend much time here at Mr. Randall's. Didn't do much socializing. What is that road mean? Get off! I... Get off! I don't know, sir. Well, let's find out. That's Mr. Randall's horse and one of his livestock. The Yankees didn't get it after all. That's a comfort. Can I help you, gentlemen? You the owner? No, I'm the overseer. Major Dodds ain't here. Major Dodds title military or honorary? Military. He's a very important officer with the Georgia Home Guard. And he won't mind helping the cause. What is it y'all are after? We need to buy provisions, that's all. We'll pay with vouchers. Worthless paper. Major Dodds won't like it. No, sir, not a bit. Go check the smokehouse, see what's left. Wow.
Hey, Miss Willa, you make a mighty fine looking soldier. Hush, Josh, it's not me. You never saw me. Major Dobbs sure wants to. He's looking for me? Hunting high and low. He even been around to the neighbors. Riding here, riding there. <laughs> he even told us folks about you. I get a whole week of loafing if I tell him where you is. Oh, say you won't tell. Whole week off be mighty nice. You sure enough got them soldiers fooled, Miss Willa. I am a soldier, Josh. Will Barber. You sure look a sight in them duds. You know, Josh, I never did tell Paul about that one time when you went and snuck in to see Lucinda at the Copeland's place. Yeah, he'd have whooped you real good if I told him. You always treated me decent, Miss Willa. Then you won't tell? Here come one of them soldiers now. Thought you was going to check out the smokehouse, kid. Step aside. <laughs> Jackpot! That's odd. Some of the meat is from Mr. Randall's place. How'd Major Dodds beat the Yankees to it? Damn. It ain't like Yankee Smith stealing perfectly good bacon. Yankees didn't steal Mr. Randall's livestock. Major Dodds did. Or I'll shoot. Josh? Who are you? It's me, Willa. Oh, my, 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 Miss Willa. Thank the Lord. I was going to shoot you, Josh. Now you run along home. I didn't tell on you, Miss Willa. I swear I didn't tell on you. What do you mean, Josh? It was Gabe that told. He told on both of us. How I talked to you and all. Edgar Dodds knows where I am. Soon enough, Miss Willa. Mr. Clavitt sent Gabe to fetch him. Mr. Clavitt whooped me, Miss Willa. But I still didn't say nothing. I didn't tell him anything. It was Gabe that done all the talking. Oh, Josh, are you running away? Mr. Clavitt whooped me bad, Miss Willa. He had no right to hide me like that. If I stay, I was going to have to kill him. You can turn me in if you want, but you're going to have to kill me. The cavalry is camped behind us, Josh, with pickets on either side. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Now head up toward the Copeland place, and then head north toward the Yankee lines. But be careful. There's soldiers camped out everywhere. Bless you, Miss Willa. Now we're even. Just just don't get caught, okay, Josh? Yes, sir.
So, Captain's new aide has hidden talents. Seems instead of having himself a pretty boy, he's got himself a pretty girl. Mm -mm -mm. That does relieve my mind. You shouldn't sneak up on people. It could get you shot. You reckon the captain wouldn't mind sharing the wealth? I don't know what you mean. I can even pay you. I got good Yankee money, too. No, leave me be. Darling, you won't sell nothing with that prickly attitude. If you set up shop, you can make a right good living. Better than any poor old soldier boy makes out there risking the neck. I'm not out to make a living. Not like that. Then what's your game, then? Why go through all this trouble? I have my reasons. Now thank you to keep this to yourself. Sure, sure. Provided you do me a favor. What favor? I haven't been blessed with the company of a good-looking woman in longer than I care to mention. I figure it wouldn't do either one of us any harm if we just slipped off in the bushes and took a roll. Our little secret, of course. No, don't touch me! Holding out for the captain? Won't you spread your legs for lonelies like me? If I don't shoot you for it, he will! <laughs> Change your mind. I'll be around. Hey, boss. I see you got the message. What message? Ain't Gabe come back with you? What in hell for? Glad that, tell me straight out what you're talking about. Hell, I gave him a pass. Told him to find you and tell you. Damn it, Clavett. Tell me what? Who we witnessed in the flesh, right here on your own property. That Willa Randall. The same. All done up in soldier duds. Riding with the cavalry. They come by here and like to clean us out while you was gone. Dressed as a boy? Damn. Why didn't I think of that before? Them old soldiers took all the meat we brung from Randall's place and then some. He's with the cavalry. Which cavalry? Some of Wheeler's. They're camped up near Covington. She must have brung them by here on purpose, Major, knowing we had plenty of provisions. When? Two days back. Gabe saw Josh talking to her, but Josh, he wouldn't own up. I did my best to skin it out of him. I really did. <laughs> Get on with it. Now Josh is missing too. Why the hell ain't you out looking for him? Don't matter none. Sooner or later, the army will pick him up. Then I'm heading up to Covington. Ain't you supposed to be in Atlanta, Major? No, I turned in my resignation. Now that unit she's in, who's commanding? I got the vouchers. That officer in charge, he signed them. Quit wasting time and go get them. Well, get ready, Will. We're heading out on a raid. Oh, on a raid? When are we leaving? Right away. We're cutting behind Yankee lines. Gonna try to break their supply route. Good to see you working on changing those cylinders out. Mm -hmm. Been doing your saber drills? Uh, yes, sir. With Sergeant Quinn. And Reynolds took me target shooting. He said I did pretty good, and I have a steady aim. That's good, but remember, you still need to build up your strength. You should rely on your pistols first. Saber is the last resort. Yes, sir. I figured as much. That's good. What's wrong? I wasn't going to hit you. I know. I'm sorry, sir. All right. I'll get saddled up. We're heading out shortly. Yes, sir. Halt! I think I hear something. Colonel Logan wants us back by dark. We're gonna be late.
Logan, you about ready to go? Give me a chance to hook my horse back up. I could have sworn I heard something. Stop firing. He's dead. He was going to kill you. Yeah. Guess she saved my miserable life. Quick reflexes, Will. Only a damn fool would mess with you. Stand. Who are you? I need help. Who are you? I'm the wagon master. We were bringing food for the troops. They're all dead. I was the only one to get away. What are you talking about? Why are you wearing a rebel uniform? When I escaped last night, it was cold. I grabbed whatever I could to get warm. I've been running all night to get here. Take me to your commander. Who is this? Sir, he is the only survivor of the supply raid yesterday. Got your breath, man. Yes, sir. What did you see? How many men? There was about five or six of them on horseback. They came in shooting. We were doing pretty good until about five or six of them came out of the woods from behind us. We didn't see them. They started shooting and then it was just a killing field. Did they state their business before the firing started? No, sir. Was it clear they were rebel troops? Probably Georgia. It's Wheeler again. He's trying to cut our supply lines. We can't let him succeed. Send a telegram. We need to prevent him from causing further damage. Yes, sir. And get this man some water so he doesn't die on me. Yes, sir. Come with me. General, warn your men. Those reps don't want to do anything but kill as many men as possible. They're not interested in taking prisoners. Oh. Lieutenant, I wonder if I could get you to do me a favor. What's that, sir? Find the sons of bitches that did this and kill them.
finish up here. Come with me. We have a few things to discuss, soldier. So please explain to me. Why'd you join my troop, miss? Now, I could have the surgeon examine you, but I don't think the embarrassment is necessary, is it? Damn. I'm afraid living with soldiers has enriched your vocabulary. What's your real name? Willa Randall. Any relation to... Jesse Randall's daughter. Well, that explains a lot. Why'd you join the cavalry? I didn't want to be Willa Randall anymore. She wasn't any better off than a slave. Life at home couldn't be any worse than this. It was. Pa was going to make me marry a terrible man. I just, I had to run away. Who could be that unbearable? Major Dodds. We forged his house, remember? You prefer this to what he has to offer? A beautiful home, servants, plenty of food? What the hell did he do to you? My pa is gone. So is the rest of my family. And you've seen my house. There's nothing left. Paul had an agreement with Major Dodds. And now with him gone, Major Dodds is now my legal guardian. He's going to marry me. You just traded one disaster for another. Please let me stay. I, I, I can ride and I can shoot. I, I'm a good soldier. We don't risk women's lives in combat. Well, uh, what have I been doing? I'm fighting Yankees, risking my life. <sighs> Have I complained? Have I complained once? You're an audacious female. Had me fooled all this time. Well, just let me stay and I can keep on fooling the other soldiers. What am I supposed to do with you? A female for crying out loud. I can hold horses and I can cook. Nothing has to change. Everything has changed. What? You're not going to leave me here behind enemy lines, are you? Uh, I'll be a prisoner to the Yankees. Well, I admit, this is an inconvenient place to get rid of you. Get rid of me? Haven't I been a good soldier? Just because I'm a female? Well, I'm not faulting you. Hell, I'd even be here to consider the problem if you hadn't saved my neck. So then let me stay with the cavalry. I wasn't lying when I said that I never mean to go home again. If I do, then I'll belong to Major Dodds, and I'd rather die. It is imperative that I see Colonel Cruz immediately. I assume that he's in the tent. I order you to take me to him. Colonel Cruz? Major, so what brings the Georgia militia way up here? I have a situation I need to discuss with you, sir. It's a matter to be handled with the utmost discretion. Have a seat, Major. Thank you, sir. Tell me the truth, Willa. You owe it to me. I didn't do anything wrong. You swear you won't tell anybody? Don't you trust me by now? I told you Paul insisted that I marry Major Dodds. Anna ran away. Well, he tried to make me... You know... Remember the bruises that I had on my face the morning that I caught up with y'all? He had hit me when I wouldn't let him touch me. I knocked him out cold and, and then left and Paul was sleeping off a drunk. That was the last time I ever saw him. Sorry. I don't think the Yankees killed Paul. I think Major Dodds did. Can you prove that? I don't know how. Hey, boys, got a fight tonight, taking bets. Hey, Captain, you want to place a bet? 
not lose any more money, that stupid bird, Reynolds. All right, everybody. Fight starts right after supper. Last chance, everybody join in. Oh. Shooter in the woods. We'll get the cover, for God's sake. No. <laughs> Bastard's got me with a cheap shot. <sighs> Reynolds, how bad is it? <sighs> Pretty damn bad. <sighs> Where's my bird? Oh, he's fainted. He's bleeding to death. He high-tailed it, Captain! Damn it all to hell. The bullet must have torn him up inside. All I knew was the law. Planting crops. Not doctrine. I guess he'll have to... Uh, fend for himself now. Uh, 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 uh. What can I do for you this evening? Captain Spencer, this is Major Dodds of the Georgia Home Guard. He's chased us all the way up here. He's made statements that we are compelled to investigate. What statements? First off, you were at my place and unfortunately I wasn't there. I would not have allowed you to pilfer my smokehouse. Well surely, sir, you didn't chase the cavalry halfway across Georgia into Tennessee just to complain about some meat we purchased from your overseer to keep my men from starving. Major, do you wish to file a formal complaint? In time. I have more urgent matters. My fiance, Miss Willa Randall, was seen with your troop. I'm here to take her home where she belongs. Your fiance? Yankee stragglers killed her father. She must have run for her life. Major Dodd theorized that Miss Randall posed as a man and you mistakenly let her join up about the time of Stoneman's raid. Did you not recruit a young soldier then, the one that you've been using as an aide? What's his name? Will Barber? She fooled me, all right. I did recruit Willow Randall believing her to be a boy. When we were well behind enemy lines, I found out differently. I will be damned. Where is she? Well, surely, sir, you can understand my concerns for Miss Randall's welfare. I wasn't about to abandon her behind enemy lines or reveal her gender to the other troopers. I took the only course available. I kept her safe until she'd be returned to friendly territory. Whatever the case, Major Dodds is willing to take her off our hands. It seems to me to be the ideal solution. Not from Miss Randall, I'm afraid. By what authority does he claim her guardianship? His own say-so? It's a will signed by Mr. Jesse Randall making Major Dodds the executor. It states here that the Major is to be in charge of Miss Willa Randall's affairs in the event her father passes away before she marries Major Dodds. It names him her guardian. Looks clear to me, Captain. May I see the document? We've stalled long enough. Captain Spencer, I must insist that you produce Miss Randall immediately. But you can't have her. Miss Randall's about to become my wife. You have no right. She's my fiance, not yours. She's a free woman. You don't own her. I insist we allow her to make the determination. What determination? I have the papers. Since her father is dead, I'm her legal guardian. After we're married, that's all over with. She'll be under my protection and authority, and then we'll contest the balance of her estate. Are you going to let a lunatic decide her own fate? The girl doesn't know what's best for her. I refuse to stay in here any longer and listen to you insult my bride. Like a private word with you, sir. Are you calling me out? I refuse to fight with you. And get your hand away from your pistol, Major. Please excuse us for a minute, Colonel. 
by all means. Willa told me what you tried to do to her. You're damn lucky I didn't kill you on sight. What the hell are you talking about? After I called on who she was, she told me why she ran away. She was beat up pretty bad when she found us. I didn't do nothing to her. She's making up stories. She thinks she killed her father, too. Not a bad theory. We didn't come across any Yankees. If it had been Yankees, they would have cleaned out the Randalls' livestock and meat. And yet we found it on your property. How do you explain that? I found it and saved it for her. Her property was in my care. If the Yankees were there first, why didn't they take it? Ask them. That paper you showed the Colonel gives you a lot to gain from Randall's death. Seems like to me she has a pretty good case against you. She's got nothing. You can't prove a thing. You make any further trouble, and I'll make our suspicions public. Have you been dead, my fiance, Spencer? I'm warning you, it's not your business anymore. If you've been dead in her, I'll kill you. If you come near her, it's you that's the dead man. That's a promise. With your permission, sir, I'd like to go with Captain Spencer to find my fiance. I'd like to make sure that Willa understands exactly what she's doing. All right, whatever it takes for you two to get this worked out. Fresh tracks going in that direction. She's been through. My fault. Thank you, Captain, for your assistance.
Settle down. I've got you now. I haven't forgotten what a little wildcat you are. I'm glad to see you're still alive. Shame about your horse. The Yanks picked off your captain back there. Might still be alive. If you're good, I might just take you back. What the hell is going on here? Don't shoot me. Please don't. Put the gun down. Very slow. Now answer the question. What's going on here? Deserter. I was bringing him back. You Wheeler's men? Check his boot. He's got a knife in it. Damn you, Spike! Shut boy. up! Drop the knife. Slowly. Let's go see the colonel. One wrong move, you're dead. Trim. That is some trim. Excuse me, sir. At ease. What's a Georgia Home Guard major doing in Tennessee? Dodds, sir. Major Dodds. Found him out near our lines with a red private. Said the private was a deserter. Where's the private? Outside. I assumed you wanted to interrogate them separately. Major Dodds, is it? What do you have to say for yourself, Dodds? Sir, I'm really a civilian. I resigned my commission a few days ago. I'm not even in the Home Guard any longer. You are way out of your own territory, Dodds. Why is that? Are you spying? I had to catch that deserter, sir. <laughs> Sit down. You're telling me you took the trouble to cross state lines in search of a worthless deserter? You gotta come up with a better lie than that, Mr. Dodds. Personal reasons, sir. He had property that belonged to me. Blooded mare. Unfortunately, he rode it to death. That's your bad luck. You should have stayed in Georgia. I have a mind to treat you as a gorilla. Hang you from the nearest tree. Colonel, show some mercy. I'm not a gorilla. I'll even take your oath of allegiance. Mercy. Spare me, and I'll never wear this traitor's uniform again. <laughs> I take it that means you'll cooperate? Anything, sir. Anything at all. Tell me everything you know about Wheeler's Brigade. And you better be truthful. Or it's the news. Sir, I'm just the man you need. I know where there's a small detachment of Wheeler's Cavalry in a vulnerable situation, just waiting to get bagged. How's that? They've got their backs to the river and they can't get across. You can take them easy, then go on to the next one and gobble them up piecemeal. How big a detachment? Only about a company, two at the most. I'll get a map. You show me. Yes, sir. If what Mr. Dodds is telling me turns out to be a lie, or if it's a trap, I want him hanged immediately as a spy. Yes, sir. Now get this sniveling coward out of my sight. Would you like to see the private now? Of course. You the Reb deserter? I'm Private Will Barber, 6th Georgia Cavalry, sir. I'm not a deserter. Dodds said you were. Well, he's a liar. You can't believe anything he tells you. Is that so? Well, it just so happens that he's going to lead us to a detachment of Wheeler's Cavalry. I hope he does. You're the ones who'll get bagged. Was it Dodds that did that to your face? 
No love lost between the two of you, eh? He said you stole his horse. She was mine. Never was his. Anyhow, she broke her leg, so I had to shoot her. The detachment that he's supposedly leading us to. Is that the same unit you came from? Only it's not just a detachment. It's the main force you'll be running into. Really? How many men? Two thousand. Easy. Armed to the teeth and ready to fight. Well, whichever one we figure out is lying, we're going to hang. The way I see it, either way by morning I'll be rid of one of you. You scared, Edgar? You're tough when you got a knife to cut someone's throat. Where's all that starch gone now? I'm just trying to save us both. <laughs> Turncoat. You'd betray anyone to save your own hide. Stop right there! Well, it looks like that Georgia Major was telling the truth after all. They were here, sir. Hasn't been long. Well, where the hell did they go? Calm down now, Willa. I think my rifle is loaded, <laughs> and your pistol is empty. Pull the trigger. Find out. I don't want to shoot you, Willa. You're going back home with me. Major Dodds, when I said that I would rather die than marry you, what I meant was, I would rather die. Dodge. I suggest you lower that weapon. I have a pistol aimed at your heart. I knew I should have taken the time to make sure you were dead. Well, Captain, we've got ourselves a problem here. Willa would rather be dead than to go with me. And on the other hand, I'd rather see her dead than to see her go with you. Willa? Yes, Captain? I want you to marry me. But first, there's something we have to do. What? Kill this bastard. <laughs> Unfortunately, Captain, she doesn't have any bullets. <laughs> Just as I thought. <laughs> What's so funny, Captain? I know you think you turned your back on that little girl you could bully and knock around. But I know you turned your back on a battle-hardened soldier.
Goodness, Willa. If you fail, you could hurt the baby. Next time, let me help you. I know, I'm sorry. I'm still learning how to act. Until I met your mom and your sisters, I didn't know how to be a lady. I had Jenkins move your family plot here. I figured it a more appropriate site. I'm all right now, Bobby. You're gonna have a niece or a nephew. If it's a boy, we're naming him after you. Look at me. People even think I'm pretty. I guess I finally turned into the kind of woman Paul wanted me to be. That suits me just fine. Stand together as hearts become one.